welcome the man who gets heavy with the metal, Jeremy Clarkson. In a desperate bid to bring peace once again to this sceptered isle, the USS Nimitz today arrived off the coast with her full complement of F-14 fighters. Now, ordinarily, the might of the US Navy's flagship would be no match for the robots on Robot Wars, but tonight, things are a little different. Tonight, it's a lightweight special where all the robots weigh less than 12 kilograms. They're small, but don't worry, they're still vicious. So let's go and meet the only machines in the world that are brave enough to spill Prince Nassim's pint. First, from Romford, Victor of Armageddon. And the riders of the Apocalypse team, driven by two 14.4 volt motors, it has the same speed controller as used for bomb disposal robots. From Milton Keynes, Crazy Tokyo. This school design robot based in Tokyo is very light at 3.2 kilograms and apparently is driven by a teddy bear. It has a top speed of 12 miles an hour and a zero turning circle. From the University of Reading, Cunning Plan. Designed by a Star Wars fan, but Cunning Plan looks nothing like R2-D2 or as frightening as an Imperial Starfighter, a defensive wedge with an aluminium steel shell. From Billericay, Saturn. Built by Essex schoolboys, those Saturn pointed horns are made of shelving brackets bolted together. But a turning circle of a sluggish three meters could leave these hopes blunted. From Chetham School, Bugs. A GCSE school project, the front of Bugs is fashioned as an aluminium ramming wedge. And at 40 centimeters, Bugs is the tallest robot in our starting lineup. From London, the Demolisher. With licensed stealth technology so undetectable by enemy radar, the demolisher's obviously too quick for its own good. Quickest in the field at 40 miles an hour, and also the smallest at an itsy bitsy 60 centimeters. Back to you, Jeremy. Remember, some of the deadliest creatures in the woods are also the smallest. The song thrush, the earwig, the hedgehog. Let's see what's what with the first event. First of all, you have to exit the carousel, which isn't easy, even for me. And then it's decisions, decisions, decisions. Do you take the safe but rather slow route to my right, which involves a maze and some spikes, or the middle ramp route, which also has its ups and downs? Or do you face Sergeant Bash complete with flamethrower? Whatever you do, by the time you get to this end, you better watch out because Matilda has the freedom to roam across the whole of the finish line. And her tail just happens to be a chainsaw, so you don't want to get on the wrong end of her. There's also the pendulum to look out for. But whatever route you decide to take, the worst performer is eliminated. So let's find out who it's going to be. Roboteer, start your battery. Roboteers, stand by. First to take on the gauntlet is Cunning Plan with Oliver Steeples, a fourth-year engineering student. His hero is Star Wars creator George Lucas. This is Cunning Plan. It's a basic wedge design. It's got an aluminium and steel body shell for overturning and ramming other robots. Three, two, one, activate. Out comes Cunning Plan. Small, quick, darts into the maze with that Zero degrees turning circle, which could be so vital here for the faster featherweight machines. He is Joe 90, isn't he, Oliver Steeples? And basically, these smaller robots have to dodge anything. The house robots could take them out. Certainly the drills could. And Matilda, out to splatter a small fry. She's a darling, isn't she, Matilda? Modeled on my mum. Oh! That's good maneuverability, but again, crunch, you see. He's got to dodge it onto the spikes here. He'll wait until the spikes go down, and then spurt on. Good run by Cunning Plan. Appropriate name, Cunning Plan. Maybe. You were uh, looking pretty pleased there. Uh, the spikes are a bit tricky. The robot didn't give me any problems. What, the, the spikes are tricky but Matilda isn't? Well, I'm looking forward to you going head-to-head -head with that. Should be good luck. Well done. Anytime.
Cutting plan, first to go, first to complete, and first name up on the leaderboards. Roboteers, stand by. Kevin Church, Matthew Davy, and Chris Purchase, all GCSE students. Three, two, one, activate. Crazy Tokyo boys all studying for GCSEs. <laughs> What on earth have they made this thing from? One of its weapons is that curved bumper, they say, to push opponents out of the way. It seems to me to have been made out of yeah, from those stickers you get in bubblegum packets. Past the drill. Stuck on the grill. And the drill again. You get mangled there. It's a, a case of run away, run away. Oh, Taking on the springs. <laughs> yes. no, it didn't work. This is Crazy Tokyo in the featherweight division. This armor plating is impenetrable to chainsaws and other pokey things. We will see. Here come two pokey things now. Matilda's tusks. And is Crazy Tokyo stuck on those springs? Oh, is Matilda stuck on those springs? You are. And so is Matilda stuck fast. And Matilda's in trouble. Look at that. Stop and deactivate Robox. Well, you were lucky there because you were about to be eaten. Right. Did you find that in a dustbin or make it? Bye. Bye. <laughs> You're supposed to have gone that way, past that enormous house robot, which would have mangled your piece of litter, but you went the other way around and deservedly got stuck. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, never mind. But the bin boys did well. 12.65 meters, they're in second place. Robot ears, stand by. Satan, driven by 15 year old GCSE schoolboy Tom Barber, his brother, 13 year old Sam, is back in the pits. This is our robot Satan based on a ball. We've got a number of different features. We've got wagon tail at the back, sound effects, we've got smoke machines in the nose, and a laser for the eye. Three, two, one, activate. And what Tom and Sam Barber didn't tell you is that Saturn also moves as it goes along. Mad cow disease. These boys are bonkers already. Moves, that's a few bruises, too many. I'm not too sure about the steering with that mad one eye, but it certainly is bullish. Oh, what a great run straight through! Look at the manoeuvrability in 10 mile an hour speed past the house robots. I cannot believe you beat both of them. Oh, brilliant. That was, brilliant. yeah, that was brilliant. Well done. And Satan through in the quickest time so far. Top of the leaderboard. Crazy Tokyo, 12.65 meters. Looks vulnerable. Robot ears, stand by. Driver Sam Rudgard is the youngest competitor in Robot Wars. He's only 10. This is the Demolisher. It's made from a Tyco engine and is built for speed. It spikes here are made for when zooming around to ram into the enemy and puncture its armor. Three, two, one, activate. And ten-year-old Sam Rudgard with the smallest robot in Robot Wars no, so far. He's speeding away, and it's beaten just about everything, and has! That's taking the Michael! Not that long ago, I'd have put some money on you not making it, yes? Yes. <laughs> well, well done, guys. That was a really neat run. Well done. The Demolisher, very quick, but not as quick as Satan or Cunning Plan. 